Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we demonstrate the use of custom Java procedures. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining custom Java procedures and outlining their importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of building and using a custom Java procedure. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what custom Java procedures are and why they are important for our customers. TDV provides an API that enables Java programmers to write code that interacts with TDV. The API is an interface that the Java programmer implements. A custom Java procedure, or CJP, is installed in TDV as a type of data source. Custom Java procedures are important to our customers for three reasons. First, they provide a way to connect TDV to custom applications that do not provide a standards-based API. Second, they enable customers to add functional capabilities to TDV, such as complex validation logic or other algorithms. Third, they allow Java code to be used in TDV in very flexible ways. CJPs may be used as standalone procedures or embedded in views. They can be called by TDV SQL script procedures and promoted to custom functions. Like any other TDV resource, CJPs may be cached and published. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo that shows the use of a custom Java procedure. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. This company earns revenue by answering questions asked by its customers. To answer these questions, the company has developed a Magic 8-Ball application, which can provide an answer to any question. The questions themselves are stored in a corporate data warehouse. This company would like to use TDV to provide a federated view of questions and answers. However, the Magic 8-Ball application does not provide any type of standard interface, such as JDBC, ODBC, ADO.NET, OData, or Web Services, that would allow TDV to access it as a standard data source. We'll use a custom Java procedure to integrate the Magic 8-Ball with TDV. Some setup is required before you begin this demo. First, we need to install node.js, which is a JavaScript server. Our Magic 8-Ball is implemented in JavaScript. Next, download the Magic 8-Ball application and set it up to run in Node. Finally, import the car file for this demoette into TDV. This will install the custom Java procedure, define the data source connection to the data warehouse, and install a set of TDV resources that use the Magic 8-Ball. The data warehouse is hosted on a website and should run without any additional configuration when you import the car file. Complete instructions for these steps are found in the additional resources that accompany this demoette. Now we are ready to begin our demo. Let's begin by examining the structure of the Java code that makes up the CJP. In this example, we use the NetBeans IDE to develop our code. Our development process involves creation of a Java class, which uses a library supplied by TDV. The final product is a JAR file that we can import into TDV. Custom procedure is the interface we must implement. Some of its methods are called when TDV introspects the CJP, and others are called at execution time. Let's examine the methods that are called at introspection time. GetParameterInfo returns information about the procedure's input and output parameters. GetName returns a short name for the procedure. GetDescription returns a description of the procedure. Now, let's examine the methods that are called at execution time. The invoke method runs the procedure. For this basic demo, we simply execute the Magic 8-Ball JavaScript as a new process, passing the question 
as a command line parameter. The Magic 8-Ball writes its answer to the standard output, and it is piped back to the Java code. TDV can then call get output values to retrieve the response from the Magic 8-Ball. The getNumAffectedRows method returns the number of rows that were updated, inserted, or deleted. Since the Magic 8-Ball only returns data, we return zero here. TDV calls the close method when the procedure is no longer needed. The custom procedure interface also includes a set of methods for data sources that implement transactional behavior. These methods are beyond the scope of this introductory demo. Our code is complete, and now we can prepare it for import into TDV. To do this, we compile the code using the same Java version that TDV is using. Note that we include the location of the csext.jar file in the class path. After compilation, we jar the class file. The jar is what we will import into TDV. Now we can define the custom Java procedure in TDV. We select New Data Source and choose Custom Java Procedure as the data source adapter. We have placed the CJP jar in TDV's conf custom jars directory. This is a convenient place to put it because it is the same location that TDV will choose if we later export the CJP as a car and import it into another TDV system. Now we see the M8B resource which is the short name we used in the CJP code. We select it and introspect it. When introspection is complete, the TDV Studio namespace shows the Magic 8-Ball data source with the M8B procedure. If we open M8B and execute it as a standalone procedure, we can enter a question and receive an answer. We can also create a view by dragging M8B onto a view palette. When we create the view, we enter a question. As the SQL tab shows, this question is permanently embedded in the view, which is a valuable approach for questions with constantly changing answers. Next, we'll use M8B as a helper procedure. This procedure accepts a question, calls M8B to get an answer, and then embellishes the answer with additional text. We pass in a question, and our response is returned. Notice how SQL Script and Java code can freely interact in TDV. We can also use our custom Java procedure in a transformation. We drag it into the transformation, feed it a question, and use the response as part of a new data structure. Because our custom Java procedure returns a single scalar output, we can promote it to a custom function in TDV. To do this, open the administration menu in Studio, select Custom Functions, and select the checkbox for M8B. Now we can use our custom Java procedure in even more interesting ways. As we noted earlier, our corporate data warehouse holds a repository of questions. Let's modify this view so it contains both questions and answers. On the grid panel, we create a new column. This column simply repeats the question column, but we wrap it with the new M8B function, which will transform the question into an answer. Now when we execute, our virtual view presents both questions and answers. This makes our data warehouse appear to be much bigger and more powerful than its actual physical contents would indicate. Our custom function also has interesting implications for transformations. Our earlier transformation used M8B as a resource. Here, we make a new transformation that uses a slightly different approach. Instead of using M8B as a resource, we use it as a function in an expression that wraps the input parameter. We enter the parameter, which is passed to the expression, and the answer is returned. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. 
TDV provides an API that enables Java programmers to write code that interacts with TDV. The API is an interface that the Java programmer implements. A custom Java procedure, or CJP, is installed in TDV as a type of data source. Custom Java procedures are important to our customers for three reasons. First, they provide a way to connect TDV to custom applications that do not provide a standards-based API. Second, they enable customers to add functional capabilities to TDV, such as complex validation logic or other algorithms. Third, they allow Java code to be used in TDVs in very flexible ways. CJPs may be used as standalone procedures or embedded in views. They can be called by TDV SQL script procedures and promoted to custom functions. Like any other TDV resource, CJPs may be cached and published. Thank you.